My name is Jonathan de Saint. I'm a former soldier and an ex-priest. I was living in seclusion when I received a letter from Africa. It was a letter from my cousin Michael. We had served in the military together in Algeria, but had gone in different directions. Michael had written to me about settling down with his family in Africa and starting a farm. As time passed, he forgot about the war as though it had been a bad dream. Michael's description of his life seemed idyllic. Unfortunately, his happiness didn't last. Michael's wife, Margaret, came down with African fever. And Michael, despite being a top graduate at the Royal College of Medicine, was unable to save her. Margaret passed away and left my cousin alone to bring up their beloved daughter, Jenny. Before long, the fever returned to claim little Jenny. Although Mike finally found a way to stop the disease, he didn't explain how. Thankfully, Jenny recovered and the worst seemed to be over. And then Jenny became possessed, as Michael called it. He described his daughter's strange behavior and the mysterious signs that appeared on the walls of his estate. The last straw was a note Jenny had written containing just one word, help. At the end of the letter, Michael asked me to come and exorcise the demons from Jenny. He didn't know I was no longer a priest, but I couldn't say no to family. As I trembled in my seat on the old bus that was taking me to Michael's estate, I, I felt as though I was returning to the past. I couldn't forget the screams, the pools of blood on the ground, soldiers splashing through them as they ran for their lives. And I couldn't forget the moment when the world around me exploded. They said it was a landmine. That was my time to die, but the holy book saved me. Michael had given it to me before I'd gone into battle. A metallic splinter shot towards my heart, but the pages of the book stopped it before it pierced my flesh. This event changed my life. My fellow soldiers nicknamed me The Saint, and I devoted my life to God. But fate made a mockery of my salvation. I would get piercing headaches and I started seeing horrific things. I began to think the devil himself had possessed me, and that I should no longer be a priest. Now, a former priest who believes the evil one lives in him is on his way to exorcise a young girl. How unsearchable are his ways! His thoughts are beyond understanding. I have arrived at last. Lost it. Can we skip the tutorial? Oh, what's in here? Wet sponge. We'll have that. Oh, we'll have that. They look a bit filthy. Can I clean it with the wet sponge? What's that say? Precipice Hall and Salute. Oh. Better for that twice then. Let's have a look over here. Ooh, this is quick. Braced it. Should we, uh, uh, turn the sound down a little bit? How about that? Yeah, it's better. It's a bit loud, wasn't it? Bracelet. There you go. Spoon. 
banana, giraffe, bell, glass jar, rag, walking stick, necklace. Mug, a playing card, lime, where's it? Oh, it's a zebra, uh, a jug, envelope, and a snake. Oh, just the headphones a minute. There's a giraffe, a jug, hmm. bell. I can hear a fly buzzing about. Right. <coughs> Spoon and a banana. Can you see the banana anywhere? Uh. See corn? Is that a banana? No, it's a spoon. Well, that's a weird shaped spoon. We'll have to watch out for that. Hidden. No. Doesn't, that's a lime. Doesn't come up as moving anything when you click on it. Oh, we've got a book. Um, there's a mug. Playing card and a snake. Is that a snake? That thing there. Yeah. Oh, playing card. From there? That's the envelope that we dropped. Let's open it up. Oh, that's where we've got to go. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the hint. <coughs> I found this the envelope with Michael's return address. What luck. Now I need to find his estate. Oh. Anything else? No? And uh, this way we go then. Got, got a travel bag oh, and a knife. Ah. Nah. What's this? Uh, cut it with a knife. So we've got a rope. Nice. So, uh, Ah. Ah. Ah, his ants walked across the road. Ah. Alright, off we go. Hello, Mr. Hello, sir. We don't see many new folks around here. Can go he? on in. Don't worry ah. about no one got four being to read. around. In the middle folks of the day. prefer to stay home during the middle of the day when the temperature, when the is, temperature is the hottest i'm here because i need to repair shoes so you're a bit hot. as soon as possible you want to go get your will water? you do me a favor okay please some water? bring me a bowl of soup water, i soup. skip lunch right. when i've got a lot of work to do. And I live alone, so no one is going to bring me anything to eat. No worries, I'll find you some soup. Dirty musical pie. Can we go back and 
clean it. No. Uh, clean it. There you go. I'll just put the rope under there instead of the musical pipe. It's not clean yet. Do it again then. Oh! It's broke. Oh no. Oh well. Hope no people. Hello! Um. Uh, throw a rope at it. Throw a bag at it. Play some music. Bell clapper. Hmm. Bell ringer. Hmm. Let's, oh, hang on. Let's put the bell clapper in and the bell ringer on. That, there's the bell ringer. Where's the bit of rope? Oh, there's the bell ringer. There you go! What? Well, Where am I? My god, I saw all of this years ago, just before the battle that changed my life. Oh. Michael will appear in a moment, and he'll give me the holy book, which will rescue me. And you take yes, it? this is it. I remember every scratch on the cover and... Wh what's going on? What... What is this book? That's not the same book, mate. Well... You know... Finally! I was barely able to revive you. I guess you experienced heat exhaustion. I'm still not used to the high temperature here. I appreciate your responding to my letter, John. That's okay, mate. It's a bad idea to be in the African sun for more than a few minutes. Well, let's go in there. It's a bit cooler in here. Come in and take a load off. Your room is on the second floor. You can leave your bags where you're standing and go there now to relax. Okay. Explore the grounds later after you've rested. This will give you a chance to meet my daughter, Jenny. She's staying in the room across from yours. Okay. Now, I beg your pardon, but I must go as I'm very busy. We'll talk again later. Okie dokie. Oh, should we go through here first? No, no, no. Oh. Don't come into my kitchen with the travel bag, mister. All right, then. I'll first, then. Hey there. I know who you are. You're John. We've been looking forward to your arrival. Are you really a saint? Daddy says you are. He also told me to leave you alone until you've rested or at least unpacked. He said that's the first rule of hospitality. Well, let me just unpack my bag. Or oh, just throw it on the bed. Oh, where's my bag? There, there you go. It's the gift. Can't go visit him without a gift. Candle snuff. Matches. Oh, what's the picture? Should we, uh... That's it. We'll take that, just in case. Well, that was a noisy clock. <laughs> Hello. I know I should have knocked, but there you go. Yeah. Thank you, that. sir. I love presents. Daddy gives them to me all the time. Oh. He gave me this painting. Will you help me put it together? Please. Then we'll hang it on the wall next to my other paintings. Okay. Well, if you get lots of... Uh Oh, there's a piece missing. 
perhaps I shouldn't have got you a, a, another present then, being you're always getting presents. down. Hmm. No. Need a bit of paper, I think. Look at that, ants crawling around underneath there. There you go. Where is it? There you go. Assemble the painting. Place each piece where it belongs. Place then. Get out of the way. No, nope, put that there. And uh, that there. Hmm. You can't put it together. Meantime, that go there. I can't move that one, so I assume that's in the right place then. So put that one there then. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Thank you. Hmm. Right, well, this goes down here somewhere. Goes over there. Maybe we'll put you there, I think. for this hourglass to stop ticking before we can pick up the next bit. Okay, get carried away. Now I've got to help hang it up, but there's nothing up there to hang it up with, look. I'll put a hairpin in there. Got to find some nails. Stick some matches in there. Fill up the hole a bit. Hmm. Perhaps not. Look, let's go back. Can we go in the kitchen? Good now? afternoon. Mm -hmm. Are you John? Yep. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, My good. name is Delilah. Oh, I'd love to talk with you, but I'm busy preparing lunch. Oh, lunch. Wait. Could you bring me a jar of water before you go? Okay. I've been so busy this morning, I haven't had time to go to the barrel with water. The pump's broke. Oh, don't ask me how I know. I, 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 don't, I don't know that the pump's broke. Mm. Yeah, just start throwing ingredients in, yeah. That's what I do. Uh, Drink of water. There you go. 
Thank you, John. I know it's impolite to ask a guest to do a favor, but if I have to go to the barrel, I won't have enough time left to make lunch. Could you also help me cook? Please prepare the soup. Here's the recipe. It's easy to make. Okie doke. Thanks. Ooh, try that. Any recipes? Ingredients. Coffee beans. Ooh. One jar is missing. Here's a jar. Swap the jars to place each one in front of its silhouette. You can only swap adjacent ones. Hmm. That doesn't go there. Does it? Yeah, I think that one goes there. Oh, perhaps that one went there. No. Does that mean that I can do that? Oh. That goes there. That goes there. Oh, it keeps clicking in my ear. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Not pleasant. Uh, I don't know where this big wire down here, I think. Right across here. Uh, the only one I can see that might have a flat. goes over there. What goes in the middle then? That one? Yeah. Alright, let's move you two across a minute. Alright, you need to go there. And you need to go there. Yeah, because of the sides, look, they go in, they go in. <sighs> that's there, that's round, and that's there. So that's right, right? Ah, oh, that's that one, and that one are the wrong ones. Those two. Okay. Let's swap those over then. And those one. <coughs> and we get some soup spices. Nice. Ooh, what's in there? It's a bit dark. I need a candle. Uh, Candle. Matches. Ooh. Lump of meat. Ooh, nice bit of ham. Here we go. Now, where's the recipe? Follow the recipe to make the soup. Now, we want one ham. I've got all the ingredients there, look. Oh, you want to put the spices down? There you go. I want... I'll put... I'll have a knife. I could put that there. Chop that up. Although I did throw all the ham in one go. I hope that was alright. like I make my stews. Although I do cut the meat up. And it's usually a nice piece of lamb. 
There you go. There you go. And let's put some of them in. Yeah, soup's ready. Lunch is ready on time. Thank you, John. Okay. Have I noticed anything strange about Jenny? Have oh, I've grown tired of Mr. Jacob's Jenny? questions about the health of his daughter. I'll tell you the same thing I told him. Okay. Jenny is a normal, healthy child. Oh. Now, excuse me, John. I need to set the table. Thank you again for your help. In exchange, take this bowl of soup. It's delicious. Oh, cheers. I need that for somebody down the road. Oh, 